ba 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 Here I am at the Velvet Cream in Fernando, Mississippi. Excited to be here because I've heard about this challenge for such a long time. My friends have done this challenge. Randy's done it, Mitch has done it, and of course Brandon has the record as he has most of the records down here in Mississippi and in Tennessee. So you get a big burger, you get a bunch of chili and cheese fries, right? And a huge, enormous milkshake. So let me head on over and get my stuff ordered and get this going because I am looking forward to this. Well, Charles Wood, is in room pressure? Mm -hmm. Alright. Do I get dessert? I can do it. Say I do it under the phone. Do I get a dessert? A free pint of ice cream? Oh, that's worth it. I'm just going to go for this. Alright, thank you. So here I am at the Velvet Cream in Fernando, Mississippi. I got the food out. It looks incredible. There is so much bacon on here. There's six slices of big, slices of bacon. Oh, that's good. There is so much bacon on here. There's six slices of big slices of bacon on the, the cheese fries. Tons on, the, on this big monster burger. Huge banana milkshake. I love banana milkshakes. Now, I don't even know what I'm doing here today because it's all day to eat this. I don't want to eat it all day. I'm trying to eat it quick. But we have Mitch's time to beat, Randy's time to beat. I have a side bet with one of the employees at 12 minutes on this. I have Brandon's record of, what, 5.42? 5.42. I don't know. I'm just trying to get this down quick. But uh, I think the most important is that 12-minute bet because if I had to fly home... The whole plane ride home, I'll be upset if I lose this bet. So I'm gonna dig in here. I'm ready to go. You have, you have, who's, you have, you have your timer, or does anybody have a timer? Um, you got a timer oh, for it. it doesn't. As long as somebody has a timer. So as soon as I start eating. Yep. Okay. Start moving. I'll, I'll start it. All right. Here we go. Hey guys, here I am at Velvet Cream, also known as the Dip. This is actually the second challenge of the day for me. Brandon and Tasha just took me to El Agave, where I set the five pound burrito record. And less than 10 miles away is Velvet Cream. So we're here next. You can tell there's a lot of snow in the ground here. It's starting to warm up in Mississippi, but it's not there yet. So it's actually a little bit cold. It's still good. But a little bit chilly to be sitting outside in short sleeve shirt, eating a food challenge, especially one with a large milkshake. And this challenge is not for the faint of heart. It's a two pound burger, so it's basically four big patties, tons of cheese on it and bacon. And then you have a choice of bacon or chili covered cheese fries. And there's lots of different varieties. I went with the waffle fries for mine and a large milkshake. I think it's now a 40 ounce milkshake when Brandon set the record, I believe it was like a 50 or 52 ounce, something around there. And this is a $50 challenge. But the nice thing about it is you have all day to eat it. So if you get there when the store opens, you can take all day long. As long as you finish, you get the money back and you get a free t-shirt and your picture on the wall of fame. And right now there's only three pictures up there. They're all my friends. So of course I'm looking to join them. I don't know if you can tell by looking at me, but I'm a guy that actually loves to eat food. And I like to enjoy my food as well. So even though I'm trying to break a speed record, I'm going to use utensils as much as possible. So I'm using a fork right now. I'll end up switching to a spoon. But I'm not using my fingers to pick up cheese fries because I wouldn't normally do that at home. Of course, if I was at home, I also wouldn't have a banana milkshake mustache, a banana milkshake goatee, a banana milkshake shirt. Let's just pretend we don't see that for right now. As they finish up these fries, you can see people sitting in cars watching me. There's a guy in a white van behind me, as well as some other people around. They were very supportive of me, but it was just too cold for them to eat ice cream and stay outside. We have though, he just ate a five pound burrito at El Agave. <coughs> well, those fries are good. <coughs> wow, huge burger. Of course, it always helps to have the best hype man in the business work in the crowd for you, and Brandon has them all going. So this is a really fun event, even though it was just a little bit strange sitting outside uh, with the temperature doing this challenge like this. This first half of the burger seemed to go kind of slow. That bacon was hard to get through. I think it's much easier to eat ground meat than it is to eat like sliced meat like this. But I felt like my time was going pretty good. I wasn't sure the exact time, but I 
think I have a good shot of beating Brandon's time, but I know I'm way under the 12 minute pace. Luckily the burger had cooled off tremendously, so it was actually kind of cold by this point. And it, it helped when you're going from the really cold milkshake to a cold burger, I think it was much easier than going to a hot burger. So in some ways it kind of benefited me from sitting outside at this temperature, but regardless, that milkshake was still pretty cold to drink. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely fighting off brain freeze in a couple of spots here. Uh, that was a little bit of a challenge, but Luckily, I love banana milkshakes. I almost never get them, so the flavor was incredible. Made it so much easier to eat. I uh, can't wait to visit Brandon and Tasha again and stop by and just get a milkshake and enjoy it nice and slow through a straw, not wearing 97% of it on my face and body. That would be really enjoyable. They finish up this burger i'm happy because i know i'm going to be under 12 minutes and you can see how the wind was blowing so it was a little cold i just had about maybe half of a milkshake to finish and the milkshake did melt a little bit so i'm able to swallow it pretty quickly i just had to fight off the brain freeze normally when i'm doing one of these challenges i try to tune out everything and just focus on what i'm trying to do but I did hear Tasha say 4 minutes and 30 seconds, so now I'm thinking, might as well try to get under 5 minutes. Good. Yeah, you can tell. <sighs> that ice cream, that milkshake is all cold. Oh yeah. Oh. Water maybe to warm back up. Woo! Thank you. That was delicious. That was the Big Dipper challenge here at Velvet Cream. I think I just managed to squeak in under Brandon's time. That's a new record. New record of five minutes and four seconds. But most importantly, it's under 12 minutes and I won my bet. So I'm off to collect my winnings. Thanks for watching another one of my, thanks for watching another one of my videos and I'll see you guys again soon.